In this section, we're going to look over actual pharmacy prescriptions written by actual doctors. Now, the problem is whenever we look at these, doctors tend to not write in the particular fashion that maybe they're supposed to. Maybe they'll just write it out word for word. Maybe they'll just come up with their own abbreviations. Or they may just forget a certain key part of a prescription. It's up to you as the technician as well as the pharmacist to be able to find those and to make them legible for the patient. Our learning objectives in here are to be able to recognize the medication directions um, from the real prescriptions and then to also determine the proper wording from these prescriptions. So we'll start with Crestor 10 milligrams. Crestor is a cholesterol medication and we'll get into the medications later in the class. You can jump ahead and start to memorize them, that's fine, but we'll really tackle them through lecture later on in the class. But we're really looking at the directions on this one and it says one tablet daily. Chose to use zero of what we've learned. That's fine. It reads fine. We know it's one tablet by mouth daily. Why? Because it's a tablet. So one tablet by mouth. It's safe to assume that. It's not going to be rectally or anything like that. So one tablet by mouth daily. So what would we write on here? We would simply write one tablet by mouth every day. Now Notice I have on here, take one tablet by mouth every day. You really need a verb at the beginning of your prescriptions that you write. Whether it be give or dissolve or take or whatever uh, the proper term should be on there. In this case, it's just going to be take. Take one tablet by mouth every day. Very simple one to start out with. The next one, Lopid 600 milligrams, number 60. And the directions say 1 PO BID. 30 minutes AC. Now on this one we're going to have to actually do a little bit of decoding. Um, we know what PO means. That means by mouth. I also talked about by meaning like bicycle. Okay. BID twice daily. Okay. One PO BID. Take one tablet by mouth twice daily. 30 minutes. 30 minutes when? AC. Before meals. So take one tablet by mouth twice daily. 30 minutes before meals. One tablet by mouth twice daily, 30 minutes before meals. Hopefully you can see that in there. All right, here's a real fun one. Not exactly the greatest handwriting in this one, but it's lidocaine 5% ointment. Um, lidocaine 5% ointment. All it says, I'm going to read that third word to you. Apply to, that's perianal area as needed. Okay, so lidocaine is to kind of help you not feel things. It's a, it's a topical analgesic. And this will help someone that basically ha has a sore rectum, okay? Maybe they have hemorrhoids or something like that. But they're going to apply to the perianal area uh, as needed in a 35 gram tube. So what are we going to write? We're going to say apply to the perianal area, PRN, as needed. Okay, so you can see that right there. Now, do you notice anything on here that you may want to call the doctor about? A lot of times doctors will leave something out you'll have to call the doctor about. I, as the pharmacist, if I were to check this, I would. I would say there's something missing from this prescription. Can you take a look and think if there's anything missing from this prescription? Well, there is. And what it is, is it doesn't say how often to take it. Maybe, especially if it was a more controlled medication, I'd be concerned about this. How often is as needed? Maybe the patient thinks every two minutes is as needed and they go through this entire 35 gram tube in, you know, in an hour. Um, that's too fast. So I, as a pharmacist, would want to see it say, uh, apply to the perianal area three times a day as needed, something like that. You can call the doctor and get those directions. I can tell you this, uh, insurance will want to see those directions. So that's what I think is missing from this one. Okay, so Cipridex Odic. Cipridex Odic. Odic means drops, eardrops. So when you hear Odic, you're going to think eardrops. Ophthalmic eye, Odic ear, Odic eardrops. So it says 4 GTTS. AUBID for three days. Okay, we're going to dispense one and they get one refill. The point here is it says four GTTS. You know what that is? It's four drops. AU, A for audio, U for both, both ears, and then BID twice a day. So four drops in both ears twice a day for three days. Okay, so notice I use the word, verb instill here. So I mentioned we need a verb of take, give, uh, dissolve. In this case, it's instill because it's a drop. You probably could have put take. Um, it's a little more pharmaceutically elegant to use instill. Next one up, 
Many times you're not going to get a handwritten prescription, and it's nice because it's easy to read. The legibility of the handwritten prescription is kind of gone, so that's nice. In this case, it just says amoxicillin suspension. That's an antibiotic. 400 milligrams per 5 mils. We'll learn later that means 400 milligrams per teaspoon. Okay, And in this case, it says 3 quarters of a teaspoon by mouth, BID for 10 days. In the end, that is take three quarters of a teaspoonful by mouth twice daily for 10 days. Now you notice I went ahead in the directions here on the slide and I converted it to uh, milliliters as well as the saying three quarters teaspoon and I always think that's a good idea. We'll get into the math behind that later but I really think it's a good idea. Notice the verb on here I used give and not take. Why? Well this is probably a child. With a child I don't want to say take. I can't tell little Timmy, who's three years old, to just take it. He's not doing it on his own. Usually it's a parent giving it. So on the directions, um, we do have the liberty to, instead of saying take, say give. So give three quarters of a teaspoon. Here's a little bonus for you, some math. I'm not going to figure it out for you, but you can pause it and take a look at it. Whenever I get through with the suspension, will there be any remaining? Okay. Um, you can do the math to find out if that would be the case or not. Here's a real good one, Losartan. Losartan, 50 milligrams, P-O-Q-D. Uh, now, they didn't write Q daily like I like them to. Doesn't matter. Um, it, it's, up, it's their prerogative. It's up to them. But notice this. It says when BP. BP means blood pressure. BP means blood pressure. And it says a little sign looks like the little alligator. You can remember that from math meaning greater than. Okay. BP is greater than 150 over 85 increase to 1 PO BID. So we have a pretty long directions here. Uh, so let's take a look at what it says because I think you already have in your head what it says and I don't need to go through every step with you. But it says take one tablet by mouth once daily, QD, when blood pressure is greater than 150 over 85 increase to twice daily, twice daily. Hope you're getting to see what a real prescription is looking like here because it isn't always nice and easy. A lot of the uh, pharmacy tech classes I've seen uh, previously, it shows it in a real nice script, a real nice font, and uh, that's not really real world. All right, and I believe this may be our last one here, but it's Zofran 4 milligram ODT. Now, Zofran is an anti-nausea medication, and you'll see that in the directions. It says 1 POQ 4 hour PRN nausea. Now, what does PRN mean? If you'll remember, it means as needed. So I've got one tablet by mouth every four hours as needed for nausea. So no nausea, no need to take it. Now what might I use for the verb? I could use take and I've got no problem with you using take one tablet by mouth every four hours. That being said, this is an ODT prescription, an orally disintegrating tablet. It's going to dissolve in the mouth, okay? So dissolve one tablet by mouth every four hours as needed for nausea. So now you have it. You've seen some real prescriptions written by real doctors. You can see sometimes they're not really easy to read. Sometimes you just kind of have to muddle through and see, do the best you can. If you can't read it at all and nobody else can read it inside your pharmacy, it's probably best just to call the doctor and get some clarification. We'll look at more of these, some of them coming in the upcoming quizzes you have in the rest of the course. We'll see you in the next module.